If you like to throw contests or giveaways, and you would also like to have these contests or giveaways on your own website, then the combination of RafflePress and SeedProd cannot be beat. In this video, I will create a completely customized giveaway page in WordPress without any preparation at all. We will install both RafflePress and SeedProd and just start building our page from scratch. Everyone here at RafflePress loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe, hit the like button, and the bell to be notified of future videos. So right now I have three tabs open. I have a complete clean install of WordPress. I have rafflepress.com. You'll find the link in the description below. And I have seedprod.com as well. You'll also find that link in the description below as well. So let's go ahead and install rafflepress and then seedprod. So rafflepress here, come over to get rafflepress. And I'm going to be using the pro versions of these plugins in this video. So go ahead and select the plan that makes the most sense for you and create an account with rafflepress. And once you have an account, let's go ahead and click on login. On the left-hand side here, let's enter your email address and your password and click on login. Once you're into your account, let's go ahead and click on the downloads tab here. It's the second tab from the left and click on download RafflePress. Here we'll also need to download the license key. So let's click on the little icon here to copy that to clipboard and we can close the RafflePress windows for now. Let's come back to our WordPress dashboard here and on the left hand side under the menu come to plugins and add new. At the top let's go ahead and click on upload plugin and here we can choose the file. So you can click this button and choose the zip file that you just downloaded for RafflePress from your hard drive or if you're using the same or similar browser you can click this and drag and drop it right here and click install now. Next, let's go ahead and activate the plugin and we'll go ahead and paste that license key right here and click verify key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message here in the top right corner. Again, if you're using the same browser as I am or similar, you can close this tab at the bottom. Now that we have raffle press installed, let's go ahead and install seed prod. So over at seedprod.com, do the same thing. We'll go ahead and get seed prod now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. Once you have an account, let's go ahead and log in. On the left hand side, enter your email address, your password and click login. And once you're into your account, you can click on downloads here. Again, it's the second one from the left. And we'll do the same thing. Let's download the plugin here to click the button. And we also need the license key here in the bottom left. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. We'll click that icon to copy that. And we can close the seed prod tab on the left hand side. Let's come over to plugins and add new and upload plugin. Let's do the same thing. I'll upload the seed prod zip file and click install now. Let's go ahead and click on activate plugin and let's go ahead and paste that license key right here. And same thing, verify key and look for the green success message. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. Right now we have both raffle press and seed prod installed. The first thing I want to do is create the actual giveaway contest in raffle press. So on the left hand side under raffle press, go to add new and up top, it'll ask for a giveaway name. You can call it whatever you wish. I'll just call mine meal for two. I'm just going to pretend that I have a restaurant perhaps and that we're giving away a meal for two, maybe a date night type of thing. Next, you can select your template. So this is the strategy that you want to select. Do you want to grow your email list? Do you want to get more eyeballs, new people? So refer a friend contest. Maybe you want to grow your Facebook page or your YouTube channel. I'm going to go ahead and select my email list. So let's use this template here. And what this does is it'll enter the action by default fault on the bottom here so you don't have to manually enter it but you can easily add more actions over here on the left hand side if you notice we have details actions design and setting so right now we're automatically on the details section so here we can click to edit our title our description and add a picture here and on the left hand side here you'll see some details as well so this is the same thing if I click it'll open into an editor here where I can change the details so let's put in a name and then the description here so maybe what the meal would include you can put some details about that here once you have your description you can go ahead and select an image so you can upload your own here into the media library. I don't have any images here yet. I'm going to go ahead and find one. So once you have an image, you can click on select files or you can drag and drop the image right on here. So that's what I'm going to do. I have an image saved here and I'll just drop it right onto the page. This will upload it directly into our media library here. And once it's uploaded, you can change the alt text, title, caption and description if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and click on choose image. And down here, I'll click on done editing. On the left hand side here, we have the start and end time. So you can pick the date for the start and the end and the specific time during the day that you want it to start and end. After you have your start and end time, you have the time zone as well. So you want to select the time zone that makes the most sense for you. And once you've filled out all of your details here, let's come over to actions. Now this is where you can add more actions. So these are ways for people to enter your giveaway. Now you'll notice here it says a plus one, and this is how many points people get for entering for this specific action. So for example, if you want to also grow your Instagram, you can click on visit us on Instagram. You can change the title here, but you can assign the value. So maybe if this is more important to you, you could put three points or four or five points and you'll see that they get more points for that specific action. You can also make these mandatory, allow daily entries, and here you'll put your Instagram URL that they can visit. For this example, again, I'm just going to delete this and keep it simple with the join email list. So if I click on this one, I can actually change the options here as well. Trigger on sign up so I can enter this and you can actually set up an integration with a third party email marketing service. So this will collect the emails with them. So for example, get response here, you can put in your API key to connect that. And there's a little link here to get your API key. Again, I'm going to keep this simple for this example. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to make this mandatory because we only have one option anyway. Here you could 
display opt-in confirmation checkbox. So if you want them to confirm by clicking, you can enter that in as well. And again, you have the integration here at the bottom. On the left-hand side, let's go under design and you have a few options here for layout. So you can change the positioning of the header, text and image. So here you can put the image up higher. I think I'll do that. We also have fonts. So we have Helvetica as the default. You have different options here to select from. I'll go with maybe Roboto slab with Lotto. I think that looks good. And we have the button color. So this is for this specific button here to use your email to log in. So let's go ahead and click. And I think maybe I'll go with something in the green field just to keep this colorful. You can also select a page background, but we're not going to need that because we're actually going to be using seed prod to be creating the page. And then we're going to be putting raffle press this contest into the seed prod page. For the background image we don't need, we can have uh, seed prod handle that and some custom CSS is fine. On the left hand side, we have all of the settings you can go through general giveaway rules, email verification, success tracking, success redirect, social logins, GDPR, recaptcha and webhooks. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can see the basic information under general so your giveaway name the link that you want it to be on your website i'm going to leave this blank again because we're going to have seed prod handle the actual page so we don't need to enter a standalone page in raffle press you have display options here so you can hide total entries show winners you can limit signups per ip you can show the raffle press link and you can join our affiliate program if you want to and post your link in here so here you can just go through all of these different options for example the giveaway rules we have an automatic rules generate generator template and there's a video on the youtube channel if you want to see how that works it's quite easy under email verification, if you want the contestant to confirm their email, you could go ahead and do that. And I think that's probably a good idea if you're trying to grow your email list. Again, that might be handled by the third party integration that you set up if you're going to use that feature. And I just want to mention that we do recommend WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms as the best way to ensure emails sent from WordPress get delivered. Once you're happy with all of your settings here, let's go ahead and save this. And that's it. We don't need to publish it because again, we're going to be using seed prod to handle all of this. So let's go ahead and just click the X to get out of here. And here we can see our contest listed under the giveaways for raffle press. Next, let's go ahead and actually create the page that we'll put this contest into so under seed prod. Let's go to pages and you'll see different modes here, but we just want to create a new landing page down here. So create new landing page and seed prod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. And we have over 150 professionally designed and mobile friendly templates that you can choose from. There's a huge library here to get started with. So here are filters. So if if you want to filter by 404 page, you can do so. These are just 404 page templates, but don't confuse that. You can actually import these into any design. So if you like this one, you could just import it and then change the wording so it doesn't say 404. You don't have to stick to just 404. So for example, I'll click on thank you and come down and let's select, for example, the e-commerce thank you page. So this isn't a thank you page and it's not an e-commerce page, but I'll use this little template right here. Let's click the check mark to enter this. I'm going to ask you for a page name. I'm just going to call mine giveaway, but you can change this and you can see the URL hell here that it'll create for you. Let's go ahead and click on save and start editing the page. Now inside here we have our C prod page builder on the right hand side. You can see all of the lines for the purple outline. There's orange, there's blue here, and these are all your sections, your rows and your columns and your blocks. So you can modify all of these. You can change your layout. You can change the blocks that are in your page and it's all drag and drop with the seed prod page builder. So I'm going to make some quick changes here. First of all, we don't need any coupons here. So I'm just going to delete this whole middle section. This is a row, this blue part. We'll click the trash can to delete that and to click to confirm. I just want to show you how easy it is to get raffle press into seed prod under advanced on the left hand side. We have our blocks and here we have something called giveaway and this is directly connected to raffle press. So if we just drag this right into our middle of our page here and we click the settings here, we have a little drop down and this is going to show us all of the contests that we just created in raffle press. So they connect together really well. So now if I select meal for two here, we can see that it imports that contest directly into our page. Now it is faded out here. This is just to keep a little example of what it'll look like. It's a pre Preview. It doesn't show the full thing until we actually see the preview of the page or the finished product. Up top here, we have some text. Let's go ahead and actually change this text. On the left hand side, we have a little text editor and I'll just change the wording. Enter to win this incredible meal for two. Down here, we have some alignment options and the font size. So I can make it a little smaller if I like, or I can make it huge if I like as well. Which I think I will I'll keep that around 50. And we have some advanced options here. So you can change the topography, the colors, the text shadow, spacing and device visibility. I'm going to leave all of this alone for now. Next, we have more text. Here. I'm just going to keep this clean and remove this and we have some text here as well. So you could put again, maybe the description or some type of encouraging text here to have people join the contest below. Great. So I updated the text there. You could change the color if you like, if you want that to be maybe a little bit brighter. I'm going to leave that for now. So here we have our big header. We have some text. We have our contest. And again, we have the blocks on the left hand side. So you can modify and change this however you want. Maybe you want to do a little video preview up here and maybe an intro about your product or services that you offer before they enter the contest. Maybe you could put a list of different features 
features that your business offers, whatever you wish to do. Here in the bottom, I'm going to do more encouraging text to have people maybe visit and click on the button to view your full website or maybe your full list of products or services. Let's go ahead and update this text. There we go. We updated the text. Let's go ahead and change the button here. So we can change the button text. We can also put subtext here underneath if you have maybe a price discount or something you want to show in the subtext. Don't forget to enter your link here to the page that you want to link to for your pricing or menu or whatever you're creating. You can change the button size here from small to two time large. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a large button. And we have different icons here that you can add. So I'm going to go ahead and put an icon after. So we'll choose an icon. I'll just type in arrow here. We'll do a right arrow just to kind of encourage people to click through. Next on the left hand side here, we have templates that we can click on and you can instantly change how your button looks. You have full control under advanced, so you, can, you don't have to use the templates. But if you just want something quick, maybe like this flat button here that we could select and you can see how that updated the design and the color of it. Under advanced, I'm going to select the background color and I'm actually going to clear this and I'm going to do the same thing for the this row up here as well. Click on that. It has a blue background. I'm just going to clear that for now so you can just see through it. I'm going to come to the bottom left hand corner here under global settings. And here we have fonts, colors, background, and custom CSS that we can modify. So for fonts here, we can select the header font and the body font. And we have font themes that are pre-made matches. So you can just click on one and all of that text will update on the page. You can see that that updated here. So for our contest, when we created it, we used Roboto and Lado, I believe. So let's go ahead and select Roboto for our header font. And you can select the weight of the font here. So maybe I'll make it a little bit more bold here. You can see how that's thicker and italicized. I think I'll just do the normal bold here for the body text. I think it was Lotto that we selected. We'll go ahead and select that font for the body text. Again, you can change the weight here if you like. I'm going to leave that alone and then let's come down to colors and you can change the header, text, buttons and links. So you'll see that this button is using the color that's selected in the global settings. You can also select pre-made color palettes. So here I'll come down and I'll select a random one. Let's go with maybe this green one here. Since we do have some green in the picture, that might look nice and fresh. And of course, we have the background. So here we can see the background image on our page. Let's go ahead and delete the current one here. You can see it's a little bit of a green color here. This is from the global settings. You can click on this and change this color if you just want to use a straight up color. I'm going to select a image here using a stock image and then we can do a search here for restaurant or food or something that makes sense. So here we go. We have a picture of a plate, somebody being served here. You can see a table. So I think that looks pretty good. And now let's come back to this row here and put a background color back on it. I'll come under background color and click. But now we can select from our global colors underneath here. So I can click this dark green or maybe the lighter green. I think I'll go with the darker one. And you can do the same thing with our button if you wish, but it's already set in our block settings, in our global settings. So for example, you can click block settings here, come under advanced background color, and you can select from one of the other colors here. So you can change it to whatever you wish. Or again, clear that to use the global setting. So I can see that this made our text green here as well. So it looks like we have too much green happening. I'll come back to our colors and I'll just change the text and we'll just maybe change this to a dark gray instead. And there you go. Once you're happy with your page, let's go ahead and save this and we'll just do a quick preview to see it. And here you go. You can see our custom page that we just created. Everything's looking pretty good. We have a header with some text. We have the contest from Raffle Press. It's imported into our page. Some more text here with a call to action button at the bottom. If we come back, we can go under the page settings tab here. And similar to Raffle Press, we have different options. So under general page title URL, if it's published right now, we're just in draft mode, but we'll change that in a minute. We also have our seed prod link that you can show in the bottom right hand corner. You can also enter our affiliate URL. You can also enable isolation mode here, and this will prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins. If you're using any Facebook options here, you can import your Facebook app ID. Just paste that right in. For SEO, we highly recommend All-in-One SEO, which is a fantastic plugin. And analytics, we, in we recommend Monster Insights. You can also paste some scripts in your header, body, or footer here. As well, you can set up a custom domain here that will point to your landing page URL if you want to use another domain name. And there's some documentation here if you want to read about that. Let's go ahead and save this page one more time and we'll go click the down arrow and click publish. And let's go ahead and see the live page. And there we go. There's our finished product. We can see the preview URL. Let's go ahead and go to giveaway. This is the final URL and you can see our full page here with our contest. And there you go. You can see the finished product. It looks great to me. We have a header, the text, the contest. Everything looks nice, a nice background. And this is how easy it is to use RafflePress with SeedProd without any preparation at all. If you spent more time, of course, you could make this look a little bit nicer if you like and add whatever function functionality you wish. Now that you know how to build a custom giveaway page without trying, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to run an online giveaway for beginners using RafflePress. This is another great tutorial for beginners new to building online giveaways with RafflePress. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.